This is my first video from our new office here in Stockholm. We're getting a proper setup for videos, so hopefully we're getting more and more professional and you're going to like the videos that we have in the future even more because we're really getting our shit together when it comes to equipment and locations and props and planning. Uh, I hope you don't like it. So, this video, I don't really wear a lot of makeup like day to day, actually I don't. I just kind of put on a bit of tinted moisturiser and concealer. Right now I'm just wearing a bit of tinted um, lip stuff and I'm, I've like filled in my eyebrows. I feel like I look a little bit strange right now because I'm not wearing any mascara. That's because with mascara I feel like is probably the biggest part of my beauty look. So today I'm going to be testing some of the mascaras that I have in my makeup kit. Basically this is really the only thing that I can really, I feel like I've maybe mastered. Although you're probably going to watch it and be like, you're doing it wrong! But I will give it my best. Okay, so here are the mascaras that I'm going to be testing. Uh, let's get to it. These two mascaras are the first two that I'm going to be testing. Um, technically, one's not a, this one isn't a mascara, it's a primer. Um, it's the Dior Primer, uh, what's it, what do they call it? They call it Lash Plumping Serum. And this one is um, Dior Show Iconic Mascara and I bought them at the same time um, and I've always worn them together until recently. So I'm going to kind of show you the effects of wearing the Dior Show Iconic by itself and then also um, including the um, priming serum. This eye I'm just going to put on the, the serum. I like this brush because it really is really good at with separating each of the lashes. Okay, then we'll wait for that to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to put this one on the other eye. I'll put on two coats of each so we can really get the full effect. You can see how much difference it makes to my lashes. I mean, they're virtually not. Oh. Okay, let's just fix this. Okay. We'll just do some of it. I expect this won't be the first time that this happens in the tutorial. Are you guys learning stuff? Amazing. Carry on. I'm just going to repair this one a little bit. Okay, amazing. So now I'm putting the Dior Show on the uh, lash with the primer. It's quite a bit harder to get it on. This. But as you can see, like it's already like a lot thicker in the bottom. I don't really have much of an eye for detail. I'm just going to town. Okay, I've also made a bit of a mess with this one. So that's one coat on each lash and one with the primer and one with that. You can see that it's kind of a lot to get through there. I probably could have done a tidier job. Now I'm just going to put another... Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> now I'm just going to put another coat on both of my eyes. Lashes. So this is the eye with the Dior Show Iconic 2 coats and this is the eye with the primer and Dior Show Iconic 2, co two coats on it and you can see that so 
here. You can see that this one is much thicker, um, especially due to the section that's closest to my eye. I probably could have done a bit better job with it, but yeah, I really think that this, this is a good product to invest in. Okay, so next we have uh, this Dolce & Gabbana uh, mascara from it's like Dolce & Gabbana Intense Size. It's a bit shabby because it's been in my handbag and it's been beaten around a little bit. And then the other one is Clinique uh, Lash Doubling Mascara. Um, I actually was going to try the, the primer with this one as well, but I'm bored of that now, so I want to just try these two together for you guys. Okay, this one is really black. And I have to be very careful with it because I know I've made a mess of it many times. And it can get quite clumpy. But it is really black. Oh, look, I'm already making this. There we go, that's one coat of that puppy. Okay, now this one, the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. It's got like a pointy one. And yeah, this one. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, so I'm not really super talented at applying the mascara because I keep getting it all over my eyes. But this is after just one coat. This is the Dolce & Gabbana and this is the Clinique. Clinique is a bit weak, I think. But you never know, we'll give it another coat and see how that goes down. Dolce! Oh, I got it in my hair. This one is the Clinique. So this is the Clinique and the Dolce & Gabbana comparison. I really like the Dolce & Gabbana though. I think I've got, it's gone a bit clumpy um, this time. I feel like if I had one of those special Watts, uh, Watts brush Wattsits. Um, I don't know what they're called, the mascara brush, the eyelash. Lots of it. Anyway, I think that would help a lot. Um, this one, yeah, it's pretty nice. I kind of like how it gets on all the individual lashes, but I think you really need to go to town on a lot of coats and focus a lot. So it's, for me, I wouldn't really use this one if I was in a hurry to go somewhere. Next, Next up, we're testing the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Um, I think it's the black one, and then also Mac. Mineralized Multi Effect Lash Charged Black, which is a bit of a mouthful, but yeah, I, um, I really like this one here, so let's give it a red hot go. Okay, the um, this one here, uh, the Benefit, the Benefit Mascara actually has one of those like spiky ball type heads on it with like one a plastic one um, and it's like I mean it looks aggressive to say the least um, I really like how it like separates my lashes but if you miss like if you accidentally stab the base of your lash with this puppy it hurts so let's hope I don't hurt myself like right oh. I don't want to hurt myself with this one When it touches my skin, it's like stabby. And I like it. Well, I don't like the stabbing, I just like stop. I like the bally bit for when you're getting close. Oh, I don't know. 
Now for the MAC one. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they look exactly the same. Let's get that kind of good. Can I just do this one a bit? Okay. Second card. isn't as like wet so it doesn't go on as easily. Oh it doesn't want my bottom I should not get it in there but let's just do it. For shits and giggles. It's definitely better than no mascara isn't it? I can't decide which one is better this time. But I feel like I like the way that this one applied itself. Like if I was focusing better, I probably could get like more. I could try it a little better. I could get a better result. This one looks like it could get a bit flaky. Hmm. All right. Okay. So I guess what we've learned from this is that I'm really terrible at applying scars, especially under in a high pressure situation like this in front of a camera. Um, my verdict is really like this this product, which is the primer, is a really good thing to invest in. It really does make a big difference. Um, I guess uh, this um, Clinique one was good for like a kind of everyday look because it was a bit lighter, but you could really get it coverage on from the start the bottom of the lash to the end of it and then probably my favorite one was actually it's actually the Dolce & Gabbana I probably didn't get to do a very good job of highlighting to you guys how good it is because I, I think I've let the brush get a bit clumpy I probably should have cleaned it um, but basically it's really good um, if you put the primer on with it and then you can just do one coat and it's like the, the formula is quite thick and liquidy and at the same time it like um, yeah, get, if you use the primer, you can get better separation, which is what I wasn't able to do now because I didn't use the primer. Um, and that's like a really good, good dramatic look. And um, yeah, the other thing I like about using the primer and also the Dior um, mascaras, <laughs> they uh, they don't get like the marks under your eyes. Like I know that some of them like kind of wear off on my eyes. Maybe it's because I'm always going like this, but. Um, it, and I end up with like these dark shadows, but this one kind of flakes off, which I actually prefer because you can just kind of like brush it away, whereas otherwise the other way you have to kind of wash it off. Uh, yeah, so that concludes my video. Thanks so much for getting to the end of it. Um, I know that I probably have quite a lot of improving to do uh, when it comes to applying makeup, but that's really all part of the journey, guys. So I would love for you to stick a lot, stick along with me um, as I try new products and do other things. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And 